Hey everyone, I'm Michael, and this is another episode in my series, A Plant a Week. In this series, I talk about various houseplants. I highlight one for the whole video, talking about how to properly care for it, how to water it, how to propagate it, everything that you need to know to keep your plant healthy and happy. This plant is Sansevera cylindrica, or as it's more commonly known, the African spear plant. Essentially, the cylindrica is a Sansevera whose leaves grow in thin, cylindrical spears. You might have seen these plants in stores with a braided look. I don't have a braided cylindrica, I just let mine grow wild. I have two varieties of the cylindrica though, and care for them is the exact same, so I'll feature both in this video. One is the regular cylindrica, and the other is the starfish Sansevera which is a hybrid of cylindrica that grows in a fan-like shape from the bottom of the leaf. Both my cylindrica and starfish are relatively small right now, so I thought I'd loop them into the same video. This plant is sort of succulent-like, meaning that it likes well-draining soil and very little water. The soil I keep mine in is a very porous mix with plenty of perlite and orchid bark to break up the little soil that's in there. When watering these guys, you don't want to overwater them. They need a lick of water and that's about it. In winter, I water mine once to twice a month, while in the summer they get water pretty regularly on a weekly basis, unless the soil is still moist, in which case I hold off for another week. If you give them too much water, you'll notice they'll decline pretty rapidly. Their leaves will discolor and become mushy and yellow and it'll just look really unwell. These plants also like to be root bound, just like most Sansevarias and they are known for bursting open pots. If you repot your Sansevieria too soon, it might take a while for it to show any signs of new growth, as it typically only starts to push out new leaves when the roots are tightly wound around the pot. One of the things that makes Sansevieria such a great houseplant is that they can live in a wide range of lighting. While they prefer bright light and thrive in lighter conditions, they can also be placed in darker corners. They won't need as much water or grow nearly as fast, and if the conditions are too dark it will eventually decline, but its ability to grow in darker areas makes it one of the few houseplants ideal for most locations. There are two ways to propagate Sansevieria, division and leaf propagation. As your plant grows, you'll notice the new babies shooting up near the larger plants. Just like you can see in the Sansevera cylindrica, all of these little pieces, these little leaves coming up, are all new plants. If you want to separate these babies and put them in their own pots, you have to uproot the plant and snip the babies off where their roots connect them to the mother plant. Then you can pot it up separately and start a new Sansevera plant. You can also cut off leaves and place them in water to root them that way. I have heard that they propagate quite slowly in water though, so keep that in mind. This starfish sensevera I actually got at a plant trade that happened a couple years ago now. It was the very first plant exchange that I've ever been to, and the only one because soon afterwards COVID happened. But it's grown quite a bit since then. Despite how easy they are to grow, sensevarias are toxic to humans and animals. You can't just have it all. And they will cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea if ingested. So just don't ingest it, you know? <laughs> as far as pests go, they're pretty resilient to most household pests. However, I have dealt with spider mites on my Sansevierias in the past. Luckily, these two have never had any pests, but I did find a spider once in my Cylindrica, and that was a very traumatizing experience. <laughs> if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that Sansevierias are definitely a favorite plant of mine. I have so many varieties. The Cylindrica is definitely a unique variety of Sansevieria, and definitely one that lives up to its name, the African Spear. It's drawn blood for me on more than one occasion. Be careful around this plant. It's dangerous. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for similar content. On Mondays, I post videos about houseplants. And on Fridays, I also post videos about houseplants. And reading, writing, photography, art, and any other generic interests of mine. As always, you can find my social media links in the description below. Also, you can find links to H&H &H Games, the board game company I've helped create, and our debut board game, Season of Heroes. You can also find the Amazon links to my fantasy series, A Chronicle of Crowns. Thanks for watching. Bye!